they can't win because I've all said in my other metaphysical work, evil contains within it the seeds of its own destruction. And one really needs to meditate on that deeply and also see it applied in your own life with the tossers that surround us and the other evil injustices that are done even in, you know, in plain view. Watch that experience. Watch what happens to a person that becomes, who's evil and ruthless and negative. Just observe it. And you'll notice that this is in fact a case. And it's certainly the case up the fractal. Evil contains within it the seed of its own destruction. The moment that you take that kind of anti-human negative stance, you're just waving a red flag to nature, go come and get me, which is exactly what's happening now. It's called the age of revealing and the age of awakening. All the message that somebody like me can give is, can you please get into the spirit of that? Because it's happening anyway. And you can either get into sync with it, or you can just sit there and be smashed when you know, the river takes a turn. Your boat will, your ego boat, right, will be smashed. Can you let go of the shores, like the Hopi prophecy says? Can you let go of the oars and go with that flow? Because it's a very dynamic flow, and it will handle it. What happens with us is that we think, oh my God, what's a little old me going to do? It's really difficult, you know? And, and then it becomes like you're suddenly taking it personally as if your ego is going to be able to run out there like in the old days, you know, grab a sword and do something about it. We have no capacity in that, in that realm. It's, it's a mixture between tremendous responsibility and self-awareness of it, but at the same time the ability to, as Neil was saying, go yin, let go and let the higher force guide you because without that guidance, your pottering around is like a, you know, a kid with a giant sword you know, uh, playing games. A higher form of guidance and a higher form of strategy takes care of this. It doesn't mean abnegate your responsibility, but it means try to always remain with your head in the clouds but your feet on the ground. This is both a physical war, but it's also a psychic one. And the guidance that comes to you is the most important thing, and it will show you where to go and what to do about it. And that kind of particular guidance I'm talking about is not the same kind of sorcery that the Black Lodge has. They have high intelligence, and they have come tremendous human knowledge about us on the most fundamental levels but they lack that connection to the higher intelligence. And that's their ultimate downfall, together with what I said about evil having the seeds of destruction within it. You choose that road, and you will be terminal. You choose the organic, living, feminine you know, flow of the Tao, and no matter what tyrannies exist in the world, no matter how things get bleak, even if things got ten times as bleak as they are now, worse, like a prison planet, really and truly, as long as you're with that flow, you're in your center. And it's, it, it, it doesn't matter, you see? So it's all about where you are, and they, they can't inhabit that place, which is why they want dominion right, over the world. If you can't rise yourself, what's the next best thing? Push everybody down. You're actually remaining exactly where you are, but you've done a good job, like the teachers and bastards we have to deal with every day. They're going to you know, push, push you down, and then they feel mighty high. Well, that's what the Bushes and Obamas and the Stalins and all do. They cannot rise themselves, and we have to understand this. They're static spiritually. And the moment that you start doing your spiritual homework, the moment that you do your spiritual homework, you are, in a, you, know, you are then on the road to victory.